Every morning when I wake up, I like to take a walk. Do you know why? It's because I like to admire the sunrise every morning. The grandeur of the sunrise and cool fresh hair brings a daily freshness with many health benefits. Then came the points where I wondered why the sun appears in the morning and disappears in the evening. Where does the sun go? Sunrise and sunsets have been a natural occurrence. But do you know why the sun rises in the morning and sets in the evening? Actually, the sun does not go anywhere. It is because the earth has a spherical shape. Really? Yes, yes. As the earth rotates from east to west, Places in the east experience the sun earlier than the places in the west. That's why it is usually said that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Assuming the earth was flat, the whole earth will experience sunrise and sunset at the same time. So sunrise and sunset is just one of the proof that the earth is spherical. What other proof shows that the earth is spherical? An explorer named Ferdinand Magellan and his crew, starting from a point, sailed around the world between 1519 and 1522 and came back to their starting point. Several other people have also tried the same journey around the world, known as circumnavigation of the Earth. But they all found out that if the Earth were flat, they would have met an abrupt edge thereby falling off. Apart from the sunrise and sunset, the circumnavigation of the earth, other proofs that the earth is spherical are the circular horizon shapes, visibility from a seaport where parts of it appear and disappear, the circular outline of the other planetary bodies when viewed from any angle from the earth, driving poles of equal length on the earth, lunar eclipse and aerial photographs taken from the high altitude by rockets. All this shows evidence that the earth is spherical. I hope you had a wonderful time in this lesson. See you in the next lesson. Bye.